Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In this video I'm going to show you how you can flow text into a shape using the flow into frame option that we've got in our text drop down menu. Stick with us. So the first thing we need to do is create a shape to flow our text into. So I'm just going to use the polygons tool. I'm going to come over, drag out a star, about so big, grab the selection tool and just move it down. So there's our shape that we're going to use as our frame. Next thing I need to do is generate some text. I expect if, if you're doing this for a project you'll have some text in mind, whether it's song lyrics, poems, something you've written yourself. But for me I'm just going to use an extension to generate some place filler text. So I'm going to come up to Extensions, I'm going to come down to Text, and I'm going to come down to Lorem Ipsum. And in here it just gives us a few options that we can do to generate some, some Latin text. So I'll stick with what we've got, just going to press Apply, and that generates us a little bit of text. So we can close this window. Now to flow our text into the shape we need to select both of them. So we can select our star, hold down Shift, select our text, and then we can come up to text and down to flow into frame and that flows our text into our frame. Now as we can see the text isn't really filling up much of the frame at the moment so we need to adjust the size of the frame or the size of the text. So the easiest way to do this is to use the frame. So if we click onto the frame we can hold down control to constrain the proportions and then we're just going to move it up and as you can see it adjusts how the text fits into the frame. So we can move it up till we've got it roughly where we want it. I'm just going to bring that down and I'm going to zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. Hold down control and we can just check we haven't deleted any text. So another way we can just adjust the appearance is if we click off, we select our text and then we can come into our text tool and up the top here we've got text alignment options. So if we click on our little drop down menu we've got a few different options that we can use so we can just go through these and see what looks best. We can try filling it completely. So I think I like the central justification and I'm going to stick with that. So if you're happy using the frame, you want the frame to stay, perhaps you want to fill it with a bit of colour, lose the stroke, so we'll hold down shift, click on the X, perhaps reduce the opacity so we could come up to our fill and stroke dialog box by clicking on this button up here. Which I could just reduce the lightness and you can get it looking how you want. If on the other hand you wanted to remove the frame and just have it as a standalone object there's two different options that we got. The first is to convert the text into a path in its own right. So I'm just going to adjust this frame slightly. I think I've lost some writing off the bottom. Oh there we go. So you've got all of our writing in here. So now we've got all of our writing to convert it to a path we're just going to click on to our writing, we're going to come up to path and we're going to come down to object to path. That convert it to a path in its own right, click on our frame and delete our frame and there's our writing in the shape that we want. The other option we've got is if we just back step a few times to get us back to our text and we just have adjust that frame slightly to get the rest of that text in. There we go. The other option we got is if we still want the text to be editable we just want to hide the frame. To do this I'm going to come up to object down to objects to open up our objects dialog box and in here we can see our path and we can see our text. So first of all I'm going to come in and I'm just going to drag a box over both of them and group them together. We can then open our group. I'm going to come down to the path and all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the path's eyeball icon at the front to toggle the visibility and there's our writing in the shape that we want. And if we come in here we can always make it visible again and carry on where we left off. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.